Hey y'all, what's going on? This will be a quick little video here. Um, let me get you over here. Let you see that I've got some more. I've got to glue these here down. But um, <clears throat> I basically got all this right here ready to go. This will be inside of my tunnel. So I'm gonna have some um, rock castings up here, <clears throat> tunnel port. Got that ready to go. Ballast down right here, forming this mountain right here. <clears throat> and as you see there, and I'm actually using my um, <clears throat> tunnel ports right here that I made out of the five-minute drywall mud. Um, kind of had a little incident where I left something inside of the mold didn't see it but it left this little cavities right here <clears throat> a couple on this one right here um, you see it didn't do it on this one I think there was another one over that way but these are going a couple here and I have my regular rock um, castings too that's going to be on two of these I think the wooden one is going to be near the back and then a regular cast in here out of my out of my other wherever she's at all oh, right here <clears throat> something like this one right here but <clears throat> when my battery goes dead I want to let y'all see this right here here is my snow shed each piece is cut by hand took me about six days I just got done from weathering it thanks everyone for telling me it was a good idea to go with gray instead of white on this area I think it really stands out um, <clears throat> I've got some more post that I'm gonna put back in the back back here along the back side um, <clears throat> and my mountain is gonna come and butt up right against the edge right here and on top and then you know how it goes snow comes down but um <clears throat> I think she really turned out good and this right here she can't get good focus but I will have a picture of it those are actually nails that I've actually cut the little tip of them off glued it to it and I actually it's because it's weathered and everything I wanted to do my little rustic for these nails and everything rusted out I did it on every single one of them painted underneath and as you see I did the weathering all the way down with the rust and everything um, <clears throat> I said on the back part of this right here which would be underneath here after I get these right here done I'm gonna have some that I'm gonna cut in place and glue them in place but all in all I think this right here really turned out really good had a piece where this right here fell down I glued it here same with this right here this is about ready to fall off so I glued it and then when I get down with my scenery I'm gonna actually put some in front of it here <coughs> I'm gonna put drop some down right here in front to where it looks like it's falling down out of this and you can actually see hey what's that <laughs> I wanted to make it look realistic so I made the pieces cut to scale which will make it look more realistic instead of having long pieces coming across um, <clears throat> and up here I got some more glued in where it came off and the snow and everything just pushed it and as you see like that one right there has actually popped up that's how the little piece of wood that I cut had that little bow in it so I made sure I got it there um, in front I made each one a different length that way it looks more realistic <clears throat> and everything um, <clears throat> but all in all I think it turned out really good and I'm, I like the suggestions that everyone said go with the gray Thank you, um, RT. I really appreciate that. 
and everybody else that agreed with them. Um, I thought it really turned out good. I was because I was going to do dry brushing of white instead of the gray, but I really do think the gray really stood out. I really truly do. I really do appreciate that. <clears throat> um, right now, I'm just amazed by it because this is going to be my winter theme. It's going to start off light right about here, or even right over here, start off light come across or maybe right about here is light I don't know yet then it's gonna to start to get heavy as it goes over to my mountain that's gonna be over there um, <clears throat> still having a couple ideas how I'm gonna do over here because I like to have a little town and all that in the back and some some kind of building over here still in the works but <clears throat> here's about six days of work each piece that took me um, the uh, photographic stuff I don't know where it's at right now but I like this right here and I just made my template of how I was going to cut it and everything on it <clears throat> um, taped it together and then I measured how I was going to do my post in the middle put it on here not on this piece um, this right here is actually a snow fence um, that I had on my old layout that I did from a model railroad magazine from 1986 I think it was but um, <clears throat> this here makes a great window um, <clears throat> templates to glue in for windows and that's how I made it. I just traced it out with the curve and I laid it out how I was going to do my post in the middle. Then I went from there and glued each one together, starting out with the post first. And then I glued the little post in the middle from right here and glued that up. And I said, you know, I want to do some nails to make it look like it's the rods bolted together all the way through so that's what I did and when you're from the back side you're not going to see all of the um, bolts and everything so I said I'm not going to do it on the bolts it's just the main ones in the front right here where well, you're going to be out this way <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> so I just went from there and each piece after I glued them together with one long piece um, I mean, one long piece right here. I just shaved it off, slide it in between these right here after I glued, glued, glued these on. Slide it, and you can see where I made a joint right there on this one. And then right here, I did the same thing all the way down to the end. <clears throat> As you see right there. That's one continuous piece to keep them where I needed to do it at. Um, and then I started off gluing this and get, getting this, get these two done. Then I went to the top, did these two top, and then I did these three, let it set for a day or overnight. Then I went back to these two, let them set. Then I did these um, two right here. And then I did these two right here, and before this was dried, I went to this one right here and finished this little section right here. These maybe four or five sections right here. I did one night all by itself, so it'll dry. <clears throat> then the next night, I actually glued, did the nails. I thought it was a pretty cool idea, which were already brown nails anyway. I just cut the tip. Wish I can zoom in a little bit. My camera's not that good for zooming. Um, <clears throat> there we go. You can see it, and you can see the back part of the nail, the flat head that you tap in. I just got my dikes real close. May look like a bolt sticking out. And um, <clears throat> went from there. And I think she really did turn out pretty good. I really do. 
Um, my last video the other day was this picture, still pictures of how it, how I did. But now, as you see it weathered, I tell you, this is absolutely awesome. And did this right here too. Let me put it <clears throat> up to the light, and you see all of the little grooves that you look at it this way and you can still see and I think I'm going to have a little bit of snow falling on top of this too because um, <clears throat> like I said I'm not sure probably start from right about here or something and then getting a lot more snow that way and around this corner and all that <clears throat> um, this might have a little bit of snow on top of it to finish the scenery off when I'm done. But like I said, I got some more post like this right here that I'm going to actually get in here, mount them in the back part over here in front of my rock castings for my wall that I'm going to have also. So when you're looking at it from here, you'll see it with the rock castings going, starting from right here, going back just back far enough where right past that black paint it for the styrofoam <clears throat> which is a wall um, that I can actually remove everything to be able to get into my tunnel here because I'm I was gonna do two separate tunnels but the more I thought about it I wanted to do something for my winter theme instead of having the rock castings like this right here, one here and another one back a little bit. I didn't want to do that. So, <clears throat> I thought this would even be a better idea. So that's what I went with. And, um, <clears throat> as you see, she's going to butt up. Let me get this right here out of the way. As you see, she butts up to right there. And, um, <clears throat> I'm going to still do some um, footings for these right here. I'm going to mark where, they get, where they're at now. And then I'm going to do some footings. Like little block footings around them. And then they should slide right down in place of it. And I still got a ballast right here. <clears throat> I got some more ballast coming. Um, hopefully that will be here within a week or so. So I can finish doing this right here. Plus I'm also going to try a technique of using um, fish aquarium fish aquarium gravel where I'm going to beat that up real fine and use that for some ballast blending in with regular ballast see how that looks too on part of my layout see if I can save a little bit of money on doing ballast and all that and if it doesn't turn out then I'm going to pull it up and redo that over but I'm going to give that a shot but I just wanted to let y'all see main focus what I've been working on for a week and uh, <clears throat> I really do think the gray really made it stand out I'm actually amazed and I went one step far farther and did the rust the same rust that I used for this right here I used on my wood it's also the same rust that I used that I paint my rails with too on my previous layout which it'll probably be the same thing on this right here but I'm just absolutely amazed you can see the little indention right here like it collapsed almost another one right about here just wanted to make it look realistic and, and old and um, I will have the pictures of it minus I didn't take no pictures of the parts where I actually built my rafters and all that I didn't take pictures of them my step by step but I'll take pictures of the template and all that and show how I did it <clears throat> to give everybody another understanding of step by step what it looks like but um, all in all, I think she turned out pretty good. So until next time, see ya. Hey y'all, forgot to also mention, you can see my table that I'm doing downstairs. 
and <clears throat> the actual um, uh, February 2013 was where I got the idea to do my snow um, <clears throat> shed as you see right here I liked his idea he used longer boards though that were not to scale but hey I think they, I think it turned out real good I really truly do and um <clears throat> I mean, excellent work. I did a template like that right there almost, but here's my template that I did. Which, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> you see this red line? That was the top part of my layout. So when I took this type of piece, I actually started it off there cut it off even with this outside edge and I got a rafter here 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 sorry about it I got one here 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 there 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 you can see that on the taper there's a mark and there's another mark at the end <clears throat> which ends up being this one right here and I'll <clears throat> But here's my template and then I did the measurement of how high it was going to be and all that and then I got the main structure right here between this part and this part right here let me get another board another piece of wood actually right here and between here is my track middle and then and right here my track is in the middle curve and that's why I I have what I have here. Here's my other pieces that I'm going to cut and go down this side right here. So when you're looking at them, they'll go this way. Um, here's my uh, aquarium rocks that I'm going to go up there and beat up real fine. Here's the nails that I actually use for my. Um, um, bolts. All I did was cut the tip of it off, trash everything else, made it small with my dikes, and then just painted it. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> here's stuff I use for my um. For my um, weathering, for my rustic. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what else? I do have something my wife done. <clears throat> I helped her a little bit. She wanted to build this. I helped her put it together. <clears throat> and you see the frost and like the stuff for here I got in the windows now <clears throat> as you see it looks messed up and the windows look dark <clears throat> on the top floor as you can see <clears throat> oh look there's a hole wait a minute that's on fire yep it is going to be a building on fire and one of my sceneries that I'm going to do <clears throat> I got the stuff that puffs out the smoke and it actually burnt the back of the sign and kind of melted a little bit because <clears throat> it started on the top floor these windows are here I took black magic marker and put it on there let me see if I can there we go you can see that <clears throat> you can see the black right there all in all <clears throat> I think she'll turn out good too we're going to still do painting and everything on this right here this right here is not done just yet <clears throat> um, 
Like I said, here's that stuff that I use for the windows and for my template. I wish I can find the name of it. Some kind of um, picture frame or picture photos that you can put your photos in or something at Walmart. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> let's see. And I use these two cars because they're my tallest ones to make sure it was going to work when I had these are here in it. <clears throat> um, and here's the little wood craft picks. That's what they look like. You see, saw all the little fine pieces I cut. <clears throat> And here's my HO scale ruler that I got offline. Um, <clears throat> for HO, you can also get it downloaded for free for N scale and O scale. I got them. And here's HO. There's N. There's another one up in my attic for O scale. Um, <clears throat> but while we're here on the subject, my wife decided she wanted to put this on. <laughs> this is my hard hat that I wear sometimes at work. <laughs> and that's the back of it. <clears throat> that kind of looks like me a little bit. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but um, I said 2000 or February 2013.